Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are ya? Scorpio, it's time to do your end of October love reading for you and the one on your mind. When you clicked on this reading and decided to hang out with me for a little bit, which I do love and appreciate unconditionally. If you could return the love and love that like for me, please, and help get us out into the algorithm and the familia to grow, I would appreciate that also. Also, subscribe and set the bell to all notifications because I do go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus one card for each sign, so come and join us. Also, feel free to page us towards all over my channel. Check out some of my playlist for some healing music bass covers with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. He's totally cool. Also, some pick a card readings where my decks pick you. See how those work out. And all of your weeklies, monthlies, and lives are neatly prioritized and organized into playlists for your viewing and enjoyments. Just make it a day and binge watch Archer. And don't forget, Scorpio, darling, mark your calendars. Because on Saturday, November 11th, at 12 noon Eastern, I'm going live here in the studio with J-Dub. She will be here. We're going to do an all signs. I'm going to handle the tarot. She's going to talk astrology and houses. We're going to do some live base covers. We're going to do some question and answers. We're giving away two tarot decks and a clock. So there's a lot of stuff in store. So definitely mark your calendars. Come to all the Wednesday lives leading up to it for more fun, more interactions. And the final big event, November 11th at 12 noon. 11-11 at 12 noon. See you there. Okay, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. By the way, happy birthday. It is your time. It is totally your time. You are a spotlight performer right now. You've got a grand trine coming with um, Mars and Scorpio while the sun is in Scorpio. So that's a lot of Scorpio, Leo, and Aries energy right there. So you're going to feel very, very energized this uh, coming week and leading further into your season. The full moon eclipse that's happening in Taurus on the 28th is going to be one of the final eclipses, cleaning out the mindsets and ushering in the roaring 20s, the whole new generational shift, and everything's going to start taking hold from that point forward, and you are a trendsetter. You are totally raising the bar. All right, so we are going to take a look at the energies around you and the one on your mind for October of 2023 for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Of course, only highest and greatest good messages, of course. Knight of Swords. It's a prereq here with a lover's card at the bottom of the deck. Heavy Gemini energy. Nice. All right, let's go for it. Two shuffles for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Here we go. All right, two shuffles, Scorpio. Let's do it. One and two. Let's love this deck for the sassy Scorpios. Here we go. The bottom of the deck is the moon. As literally, as I'm talking about the full moon eclipse on the 28th, your outcome for this nine card spread, ten cards at the bottom for your final outcome is the moon, Cancer Pisces. See, a strong water coming in right now with the Knight of Cups to the Princess of Pentacles. And oh my goodness, the Ace of Wands is underneath that. We can go another layer in to the Hermit with the Virgo. So you have got, there's a lot of deep internal passion for you right there. Somebody just freaking straight up wants you, Scorpio. The outcome is good. Knight of Cups and extremely unique and, and well thought out. The Princess of Pentacles, she's always looking here with her wand illuminated to light the pathway in front of her. Taurus energy, Virgo, Cancer, Aries, and uh, Pisces. This is all what is what you don't expect. Page of Cups, if you want a little more on that. This is all what's hidden underneath this moon energy. This is what is in store for you when Pandora's box opens. This is beautiful energy. And that approaches Halloween. Halloween is like, you know how like Veterans Day is for veterans? Like their day? Halloween is like Ghost Day for ghosts. It's where they get the day off and have fun. We get candy. You know, it's 50-50, even energetical exchange. And everybody goes home happy. It's cool times. It's awesomeness. So a lot of strong energy in Scorpio right now. It's it's It always falls in your sign. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got for your nine cards here. Right now, your present position is the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Internally here, you are working very hard on breaking a generational curse with this here. And it's coming together in, in this energy, in this lifetime right now, Six of Pentacles. It's a meetup. It's a meeting of the minds and equaling out and, um, you know, signing, signing the paperwork to put something into play and to bring it forward here. Um, you're working to break a generational curse that'll help reunite your family. That's amazing. All right, give me some more on this. As we go into the immediate energy, we have more Pisces with the hangman. 
you've taken on the responsibility for this, even for what you maybe feel you contributed to the situation here, but you, you miss what you both had, and there's a lot of unseen incoming energy. This is immediate influence here, strong Pisces, and, and seeing the unseen, what's behind that veil, what's being eclipsed through on this one. As you go, that takes us towards your goal or destiny, which is a four of cups, cancer energy. Having so much on point that it's almost like Mark Twain's Gilded Age reference that um, very living high on the hog. Even this is the card of luxury in this one here. Lifestyles of the rich and, and gilded in this case here. But all the cups are flowing here. So you may have more on your plate than you than you bargained for. There's going to be a lot to come with and a lot of an outcome on this here that you're going to have to do a lot of prioritizing and organize because once you open up all these new doors, you're opening up to a lot of new endeavors, new experiences, and teamwork making the dream work here. This is, this is a nice reading, Scorpio. All right, going into your distant past, going way back. We might even be going lifetimes back. We're going to find out. We have the Ace of Cups, definitely lifetimes back. Um, you, you wanted, you've always wanted love. You were put on this life to find love. Even just here looking into a love reading puts there. Ace of Cups, your distance past was there was a tight connection between you guys, cancer energy. And... And, and working on that to build from it. Maybe in the past, the Ace of Cups was somebody else taking the credit for the for the victories, the situations. Be like, that was my Ace of Cups. I did this. Like, always having to be at that Ace point to go forward onto it. It's a one. It's 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 working to to come through that. You you were destined, even in multiple lifetimes, to always have your Ace of Cups to find your love. It's part of your, your path. That leads us to a more recent, which is the Six of Swords, um, Aquarius Energy. This, this this shows that that you you you've awoke to this or, or aware to it you've got a new gift or something coming in um, this is looking back on the past um, they're they're spinning the energetical boat around for you in here so I mean I do see actually like maybe an immature energy that matures strong cancer and Aquarius energy in your past energies those have been connected on this crow deck a lot lately and Aquarius is pulling a lot of all signs you're basically receiving everything from all 12 in this here which is much what the card of science six of swords depicts and, and reflects that takes us towards your future influence which is the eight of cups your energy and 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 a victory a victory when it's coupled up onto the six of pentacles here currently that your future influence is to actually walk away from the past mindsets i told you they were maturing they were leveling up here the future influence is is getting to that point of coming out of the immature energy but there's always one cup left standing in the eight of cups that allows that energetic cord to to connect it's walking away from a mindset but not the person not the one on your mind that takes us towards your incoming energy which is the ten of wands completion and getting past the point of insanity sagittarius energy and sagittarius they have a very elegant way of putting things you could be a scorpio sagittarius cusper um sagittarius would be the first one to walk up when you are completely stressed out because you've gone to that drawer three times and there is you you knew there was a charger cord in there for your phone but there's not a charge cord in there sad would be the first one to walk up and, and go you, you know you could just go to the gas station and get another cord and when you find that cord you'll have two cords Something like, you know, it's, it's, it's building out of the oppression of carrying the weight of, of just the world on your shoulders of a repetitive cycle that you, that you end and go forward in here and changes your entire mindset. All right. That takes us towards the environmental factors, the six of cups, your energy. There is much like how I was mentioning off the eight of cups, leaving that one cup, that one energetical cord there standing to bring this back together. This is like that six of cups, a deep connection and something that comes to you from out of your dreams, something that, that checks all those boxes and when you first meet them, it's like you've known them and they make you feel safe and, and you connect. This is a deep connection here and your environment or factors are awakening you to this situation here. It's, it's beautiful. And you guys are matching on energies because I'm seeing three sixes showing up. Angel number 666 might be something that resonates to you. And Scorpio, before you go, all 666, ooh, devil, ooh, ha, archer, hold on, wait. Remember, the devil card, just like every card in these decks, have different meanings, how they're interpreted. And as far as even that goes, I know a lot of Capricorns are very motivated and, and, and very positive. It's, it's part of their energies. And if Jesus Christ was a December 25th Capricorn, it can't be all bad, right? Yep. So there's something deep here that is spiritually guided on this here for you guys to come in. That takes us towards your inner emotions and how you're feeling about it, which is the Five of Pentacles. Opening up the doors, I don't pull, I can't pull a bad energy off of this for you, Scorpio. Even with this being my Casper the Silent Ghost card and us being on the verge of Scorpio's sun energy and Halloween, I don't pull that. I pull this as opening up Pandora's box. This is opening up a complete treasure trust of, of just abundance for you that like once you know that door is open, 
There's no going back from it at that point. It's beautiful. And it's all being manifested very secretly behind the scenes underneath this neon moon. Casey Musgraves, not Brooks and Dunn. Sorry, Brooks and Dunn. Casey's just kind of cuter. You know, it happens. But it's a lot of very, very interesting, auspicious energy off of this one here. And behind it is a very deep passion, an unconditional love that you guys are both very guarded and protected to. You, you notice how the energies here are concealed and protected by the moon and the hermit. So Virgo, Pisces energy, along with Aries, Cancer, and Taurus as well. All right, that's your outcomes. You've got all those energies strong, as well as your main spread showing off a lot of Taurus, strong Cancer, and Aquarius. You're here, as well as heavy Pisces and Sagittarius. All right, so let's take a peek and see where we go from there. Let's get some clarifiers on this. Here we go. Give me clarifiers for Scorpio on the Six of Pentacles. Hangman. And the four of cups thank you spirit appreciate you we had one ace of pentacles this is the point that starts this here you had given so much to everyone here that crosses your path all the times you always do that scorpio and you felt like things that, that, uh, from your side were always ignored and 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 you had to always have to dream into your existence on your own king of wands aries energy as well as capricorn but this, this is something that is being planted and manifested here because you always invest and give so much into everything that you do, even to the point of taking, taking away from yourself. As I pull the hangman, the five of pentacles, and the page of cups. That's amazing. You may be noticing ringing in your ears more lately, but when I get the, the same card clarifying itself, that spirit looking at me and going, Archer, don't make me repeat myself. I already said this. No further clarification is needed. So at that point here, I'm speaking to a Scorpio. Honestly, even where you're coming from, page of cups to the to the five of pentacles. Five five could be an angel number. So you've already I'm seeing repeating fives and sixes as well as June fifth and also May six. You could also be a life path number five or six on these energies. But this even here, this page of cups was what I was just talking about with the ace of cups to the six of swords in your past. This this page of cups here has the crab and the starfish on it. Strong Cancer and Aquarius energy to so that five of pentacles. 5-5 five, five comes in to show that even right now, your four of cups, your goal or destiny is based on your inner emotions to manifest this is, and open this door. You know it's there and you see it. Strong Aries energy as well. It's, it's like you meeting them was the spark to elevate you to a whole new level. And you are glowing right now more than ever, Page of Cups. It's, it's getting the credit due for the work you put into and all of your original ideas, your thoughts, and just becoming it. Thank you, Spirit. What we got? We got the six of cups four sixes now shows up all we need now is a six of wands for your victory and you have all four sixes scorpio another repeating clarifier card on this here with the six of cups it's a deep connection between the both of you guys and you are truly glowing it's a soul connection that energizes you that way to receive your credit with the wheel of fortune getting the credit you you're due for the work you've put in cancer sagittarius energy off of that with the Ace of Cups underneath it, uh, the Two of Pentacles. So now two ones. That's half the Twin Flame card right there. Eleven, one, one, and a pair of Aces. You actually got three ones. One, one, one could be a number, as well as January 11th. Okay? Your birthday could also be on the 14th, possibly the 6th. And I'm also seeing the 16th and the 19th off of this. All right. Whoa. That one went right to the microphone as the Three of Pentacles reversed its, not reversed, flipped itself over in the deck. Spirit's helping on this one. This is guided here with the Two of Pentacles. I mentioned that earlier, and the Eight of Wands is underneath there. Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, yeah, in this one here, you are receiving a lot of work for even things that you think have been avoided and, and ignored or didn't even get noticed. Two of Wands to the Nine Cups to the Eight of, of Wands. Strong Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, and Cancer energy off of this one. And it seems cups still hanging out over here from that shuffle point. So let's grab that. Because that's your seven of cups down here. That's your energy. All right, so give me more in the past for this one here. Because whatever it is, it's coming from the past that's allowing this leveling up to take place. So grateful. Appreciate you. We have temperance. Strong Cancer and Sagittarius energy off this with the Wheel of Fortune. As well as this temperance clarifying the card of alchemy to build from the past and create. Water into wine, top shelf style on this one here. Something about Tito's means something to somebody I just heard. That's cool. With a two of cups. All right, make a drink for both. 
Oh, it's about like buying a drink for someone each other way. All right, so in the distant past here, they had a bad habit of, of like reverse psychology and all this stuff on you and figuring out how to make you feel loved, feeling good on this. Like a temperance, card of alchemy, six of swords, though, shows that you kind of saw through it sometimes, right? Yeah, strength card to temperance to the emperor and the chariots at the bottom of the deck. Strong freaking Leo, Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius on this one, and Leo we go with the high priestess underneath that too this is an auspicious energy here um and 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 actually uh it, it they had a bad habit of, of of making you put you into a negative place or making you feel that way which always allowed them to have the upper hand in the situation on this high priestess though they didn't want you to know it but you're scorpio you totally picked up on all of this here whether it was third party energy person place or thing whatever mindsets got into their way on this you you always kind of saw through it a little bit you know what i mean right and it, and it took you to that point here and and you started healing them in ways though that that they had only dreamed about temperance chariot straight card not just not just the energy of like people the cheaters but like all of it things that left them feeling like no sense of identity no self-worth eight of wands back again more sagittarius you got strong sagittarius or you could be a scorpio sagittarius cusper birthday could be on the 24th eight of swords eight eight connection shows up with five of cups five 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 and eight eight you have a lot of repeating sinking numbers and i see the portal energy as i'm actually guided to lay the eight of swords the eight of wands down this is two-way communication um heavy twin flame on this as well too that you guys are still in a point that you communicate energetically and, tep and telepathically to work on this here they you you scorpio you love in a way that it now granted i'm a water sign too it, it can get rather intimidating at times water signs wear their hearts on their sleeve and like you know this i, I literally just heard a scorpio giggle queen of swords gemini energy and say to me yeah archer we know we know you're right all three water signs love on a completely different level and the queen of pentacles is underneath here two queens queen of swords queen of pentacles we know but Scorpio, you know what? Sometimes some people see it as a lot. And sometimes it, it, it opens up an opportunity to learn to love and be loved. And to realize what a crucial role you play in people's lives. Queen of Swords to the Strength card. Gemini, Leo energy. Um, you're an alchemist. You're a creator, aren't you? You could be a generator as well. Manifesting generator on that Temperance to the Chariot card. But you gave them this opportunity to realize what a crucial role you play into their lives. There's a lot of heavy major arcana clarifying the energies from your past here. And you help them to start to find their own identity. 888 is another number that shows up here as well because we have the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. With the Devil card underneath there, you're like a bunch of one cards away from pulling all fours out on this one here. It's beautiful energy. And you really led them to, to discover the pathway, Eight of Cups to the Eight of Wands, that leads to your door. And I'm hearing the Beatles, Long and Winding Road. Yeah. Oh, that's I'm thinking of an interview, too, with Paul McCartney gave, all right? It, it's, oh, yeah, about yesterday. Yep. So, now, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, yesterday has the most cover versions of any other song ever. Currently, it stands at twenty at over 2,200 covers of it. And this amazing ballad came to Paul McCartney in a dream. He's talked about in interviews that he woke up with the, with the melody in his head, you know, and, and so he didn't forget it. He, he real quick, apparently Paul McCartney had like a piano in his bedroom or something in the 60s, which is cool. Dig it. He is Paul McCartney, so it makes sense, right? And he ran over and granted now he didn't write the, the lyrics we all know to it. It started life as scrambled eggs. Oh, my baby, how I love your legs. And, and so he, 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 he flogged it around to people for a while. John, George Martin. Everybody's like, no, that's your tune, man. Always got it. So it was an original idea. And, and what it grew into, you know, the most covered song of all time. Paul was recently asked in an interview about it a few years back. And, and about like how he felt about so many people covering his song, recording his work, Night of Pentacles. And Paul, Paul just smiled. And, and he said, he said, I smile because I'm flattered that they admire it that much that, and then he, he, and that they take time out of their days to record it, do it, et cetera, you know? And then of course, after the interview, he stopped on the way home, Knight of Pentacles and cashed like a billion royalty checks. Right. And still had the smile on his face though, <laughs> you know, but what I'm seeing here is, is you help them build up their own sense of stability here, even, even through the separation and what you created will live on forever almost a form of an imitation being the most sincerest form of flattery 
You change them in ways nobody else could, Scorpio. I mean that sincerely, too. It's very grateful, Spirit. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. That's a good point there. Nine of Pentacles coming in where you're one pentacle away from it. All you need is love. You have everything else. And a butterfly, also a, a white dog, could mean something to you. I always see like like a husky or a malamute. So, so the beautiful dogs where I see this energy here. The sun and that butterfly also kind of resonates out the same way. Let's use that for clarifiers now. I feel good about it. Clarifiers on ten wands, six of cups, and the five of pentacles. Thank you for being here too. The lovers, the seven of cups, the two of wands, and the freaking star with the four of wands. That's a twin flame union if I ever saw one coming out here. A complete change and shift in the runner chaser dynamics that brings a lot of this your way. And with this energy here completely guided on and meant to be, especially with that strength card too for a lover's choice. This is amazing to see. I'm trying to figure out a way to get all these beautiful cards in this in this image here because this is this is multiple confirmations on it. The star card has literally been making the rounds of my readings this entire time. Aquarius energy is basically an all science. They're receiving from all 12 positions and and just a wealth of, of everything. You could literally put any sign into anyone's Aquarius reading. It's not just mine. And it pulls energies off of stuff that you connect to for wands for Twin Flame Union. And because the choice was made here with the Lover's card to the Strength card, so you know there's something very deep, divine, and guided to this. Strong Gemini, Aquarius, and Leo energy in your outcome along with Aries. With that two of wands, the choice being made here, because you're, this opens up these new doors, these new endeavors and experiences, lover's card, and chooses to put that key into the five of pentacles lockbox. Put, put an end to the generational curses, clear out the energy that, that fell into the cracks, leaving you in voids, of course, and, and being able to create something to leave behind that 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 will go on for those who follow in your footsteps, even. You guys... You, Maybe with that, seeing all those eight of wands too. Maybe you're online. Maybe you're online, Scorpio. Perhaps like, like you've got a YouTube or an Instagram or something, or you like maybe even just post dinners you make on Facebook and be like, "Here's what I made tonight. It was Taco Tuesday, something like that." But like, there's something that has been a constant in your life. That's that's one of these ideas that's going to, that's going to be an idea that I'm being told you totally need to keep investing on. Nine of wands, Sag energy. And that wall that Sagittarius built that is so so just well-crafted that it makes Donald Trump jealous where he's like, that's a huge wall. Sagittarius built it. I'm told it's fantastic. It's fabulous. This is that idea. It's fantastic. It's huge. And it's fabulous, Scorpio. And you created this here. And I'm being told you need to keep investing in this one. It's, it's, it's the good one. With the Wheel of Fortune coming back on this one. Told you. Cancer Sag energy. This one here. Whatever it is that you're working on to creating, it becomes a power thing, and and you, you guys work to inspire each other through it. It's it's like union on all checking all the boxes. You got the love, the money, the whole thing coming together and creating a relationship that you guys both dreamt of. Three of Wands, because the time's right for union. It's in the freaking cards. It's an even equal energetical exchange with that Ace of Cups showing back up down here as well to that Wheel of Fortune again here. It's it's creating what you both only dreamt about and being able to work on the things you do and like and build on and create to, to focus your strengths and never letting a weakness drag you down. It's amazing energy. It's indestructible. It's inimitable. Scorpio, if this resonated, please leave a comment down below. Leave a comment regardless. I love sharing and interacting with you that way. I know sometimes it takes me a few days to get to all of them, but I do read them, and I do appreciate you all for it, and I do get to them to like and respond to them. Um, also, love the like, help me in the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and set the bell. I go live Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for my all signs. There's also the special live all signs collab with J-Dub, November 11th at noon. And then check out all the links to all this stuff in the description and comments down below, including personal readings with me. You can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com for that. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Check out my entire channel. There's more playlists. There's videos. There's base covers. There's pick a card readings. Everything is there to just be, be a part of it. Just come and hang out. Love and appreciate you very much. And remember, Scorpio, this will resonate to any and all placements of Scorpio within your chart because we are not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but all the parts of all our charts. And we are FAJ compliant here at Archer Astrology. I will read for any sign or placement that's desires and inquires. All right. I appreciate you for being here and taking time with me today, Scorpio, and appreciate Spirit for all these beautiful messages. Solely grateful. So adorable. Totally appreciate it. All right. Until next time, Scorpio, I love you to the moon and back. Peace out, Archer out. Namaste. Yeah, Cherry. Love you.